Item Number SCP-2591 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2591 is to be kept in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-25. Personnel in charge of SCP-2591 are to be trained in the use of small firearms. In the event that SCP-2591 expresses a desire to self-terminate, containment staff are to offer assistance and shoot SCP-2591 once in the forehead. All staff are advised that these incidents have occurred times in the past month with no ill effects on the overall health of SCP-2591, and that execution of this request will extend cooperation on the part of SCP-2591. As an incentive for good behavior, SCP-2591 may be provided tap water in a plastic wine glass, and, if questioned, is to be informed that the water is actually an aged Merlot from the vineyards of St. Augustine's Convent in the southern peninsula of Apostasia. Due to sensory issues inherent with this condition, SCP-2591 will believe this to be true. SCP-2591 Omega is to remain on standby mode indefinitely in a maximum security containment vault at Site-25. All readings are to be constantly monitored and submitted to Project Bifrost staff. SCP-2591 is an animate human cadaver, possessing a regenerative ability to extend life. As a result of this regeneration, SCP-2591 skin condition mimics the effect of mummification. It is estimated that SCP-2591 has been alive since the 13th century CE. Though decay has resulted in diminished sensory capabilities, SCP-2591 can move, displays advanced intelligence, and is fluent in Italian, English, and French. Despite this, SCP-2591 considered its native language to be Apostasian, which is sung Italian, English, or French. Due to the desiccated nature of SCP-2591's throat, this has been discouraged by Foundation staff. It will answer to the name Ricardo, and claims to be the Duke of the historically non-existent papal state of Apostasia. SCP-2591 appears to be in a non-constant state of emotional distress brought about by events earlier in his life, and will frequently express the desire to commit suicide. Following a suicide attempt, SCP-2591's wound will recover, and it will awaken in a state of confusion. Interviewer Dr. Isaiah Henderson Interviewed SCP-2591 Begin Log Good morning, SCP-2591. I hope you're… How could anyone waking mourn and body virtue, when my heart has been conquered, then trampled by basest cruelty, leaving me to pine in solitude? Please discontinue singing. My apologies, tis but reflex. What is on today's itinerary? Nothing out of the ordinary, I'm afraid. I've come to ask you some more questions about your life history. Then speak, I pray you, lest once and fallen angels close the gates of thy mouth for… When we last met, we covered your brother's seduction of your bride, Julietta. What happened after that? Remind me not of that dreadful day. I confronted my dearest Julietta to assuage her of the rakish delivery with which Count Pietro had so stained her virgin heart. Alas, she tore my soul from the cockles of my… redacted for brevity. Please move on. Pardon? Nothing. Sorry. Just… just go on. Julietta broke your heart. Then what? If you so insist, I shall strive forth to close this dreadful chapter of the wrongly paginated dictionary of my immortal soul. As I fell onto my aching knees and pled unto her for her to see salvation in redacted for brevity, you begged her to take you back. Then what? Then, like a tempest of blade autumn leaves soaked in the blood of baptized orphans, Count Pietro ran into the courtyard as I… redacted for brevity. What did Count Pietro do? The villain, believing that her heart had once again become mine, he drew a damnable hellspike of a sword and pierced her heart, ere so she could be saved by my… redacted for brevity. So he killed Julietta. Then what? 
My eyes became as painted dragons of justice, in the alphabet picture books of hell. In vengeance for my forever, and always bride, I drew my rapier in turn, and with the cry of justice for my fallen beloved, Mother Mary, prithee, if I win, may she yet be taken to Elysium, I. SCP-2591 hesitates. You killed Count Pietro? Nay, neither did the foul rake kill me. What did you do? Apologies. It is difficult to explain. We held our vicious stance, prepared to slit each other's throats, and yet made no move. We were entranced, and sung nary a word. It was not our intent to engage in such queer stasis. In truth, I know not why it happened. It had continued for years, taking the both of us far beyond our natural lifespans. Redacted for brevity. End log. Following this interview, Dr. Henderson, upon request, was reassigned to SCP Recovery Log SCP-2591 was discovered through the uses of SCP-2591 Omega, which is an experimental prototype of a dimensional gateway found in the ruins of Prometheus Labs. Project Bifrost was established by the Foundation to resume full functionality of SCP-2591 Omega. After failed attempts, a connection was established to a relatively stable realm, designated reality GBICR 259101. MTF Zeta 9, Mole Rats, was dispatched to explore the area and report any anomalous findings. Reality GBICR 2XX01 Exploration Log Begin Log Camera feed okay? Video reception didn't make it through the gate, but I can hear you. What are you looking at? The area resembles a European seaside village at sunset. I want to say Spain. Seems harmless enough. Keep your eye out regardless. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't send mole rats to do your vacations for you. Cut the jokes. Any life forms? Town's barren for the most part. We'll keep you posted. Redacted for relevance. There's three human cadavers in this garden. One's on the ground, female, and completely decomposed. But there are two males standing up pointing swords at each other. Males show signs of mummification. I want tissue samples from all three. Understood. Collecting from the first male. Sounds of SCP-2591 screaming. First male is resisting tissue collection. It's extremely agitated. It's animate? Confirmed. Should we sedate him and take him in? Sounds good. Redacted for relevance. End log. Addendum. Three months after the containment of SCP-2591, Dr. Nysmith of Project Bifrost discovered similarities between the story of SCP-2591's life and an obscure, unfinished libretto for a 19th-century Italian three-act opera titled Il Canarito Rosso by the Florentine playwright Giacomo Benini, The Red Canary. In a series of correspondence with composer Giuseppe Verdi, the offer to compose the music for the libretto was repeatedly rejected by Verdi, who considered Benini's pre-existing body of work to be subpar. It is an utter impossibility that I would collaborate with a writer with a portfolio that is not only amateurish, but pompous, financially opportunistic and with melodrama that makes an unintentional farce to itself, to the point of provoking laughter in the crucifixion scene of a passion play, as evidenced in the one successful operetta you put on in Venice. As a result, Benini retired from writing before he finished Il Canarino Rosso. The situation outlined by SCP-2591 mirrors the Act II finale, where Duke Ricardo and Count Pietro prepare to duel. As Act Three was never written, the outcome of this duel remains unknown.